Hello there! Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay doing a single action figure review today um, of Marvel Legends Squirrel Girl. This is a figure that I tried to pre-order from GameStop, tried for months, and they failed me at every turn and finally got one in and sold it immediately, but they mislabeled the price so they only sold it for 20 bucks, but it wasn't to me, it was to somebody else. So I had to get this thing online from the secondary market. I was lucky enough to find a scalper who wasn't going to really get uh, crazy with his price. I think I ended up paying basically seven bucks over retail to get it shipped to me. So it is what it is. You want Squirrel Girl, you pay the Squirrel price. So I like this figure. I like this character. Um, I don't know if I love the face sculpt. It is a little odd. I kind of, in my brain, she looks slightly different than this. But I do think it looks good. The outfit, they have nailed. They've done everything right on that. Um, there's only two problems I have, really, with the whole set. <clears throat> the first being, her elbows are really stiff. That's not the problem. Uh, the first being is, she comes with just these hands. And that means she can't hold the handlebars. Well, what am I supposed to do with that? She can't hold the handlebars to the scooter. How's she supposed to, like, stay on it? That I find kind of annoying. And then the other problem I have is the tail is kind of solid plastic. I would really expected it to be like a light hollow plastic, maybe even a soft rubber, like like injection molded, like fluffy tail that's not so heavy. It is very heavy. And that makes the problem of she cannot stand. There is no way to pose her in a way that isn't leaning or falling over backwards on this enormous tail. She's got your standard Marvel Legends articulation, which is done excellently. It's per it's it's beautiful. I'm not going to complain about any of the articulation because it's Marvel Legend. I know exactly what to expect, and I'm very happy with what I got. I just kind of think that this tail thing, if they had done a lighter tail, light plastic, I don't care, hollow, something, it would have been... Uh, easier to pose her. As it is, we're going to come to the point where essentially you have to have the motorcycle present. You have to have this little Vespa scooter present or she falls over. Now the scooter itself I think is fantastic. She does come with three squirrels. One who looks like he's hugging the seat. A little girl squirrel in a pink ribbon and this guy with a nut. So the squirrels that she came with look great. <clears throat> they can line up over there. They can have a good old time. The bike comes with a removable bicycle horn on there. It has these ridiculous pipes up here, which I thought was kind of weird. Uh, no scooter has pipes like this, in case you were wondering. Um, the basket on the front looks fine. These come separately, and they just kind of plug in. The dash on the bike looks great. The bike is heavier than I thought. When I first saw it in the pictures, I thought it would probably just feel like a light chunk of cheap plastic, but it's actually quite well made. Kickstand folds up, tires are rubber, rubber rubber wheels on a plastic rim, which I like. Steering works, but it doesn't turn very much. Probably less than an actual scooter does. But it doesn't make any difference because she can't really ride it. It does have foot pegs on it so that you can sit her on it and put her feet on it. But, like I said, her hands don't hold the handlebars, which is kind of a deal when it comes to that. Maybe the idea is that she's running the clutch on each one. I don't know. I just haven't had any luck getting her to ride this thing and look good or convincing in either way. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. Kind of disappointed in that. <clears throat> but, other than that, I'm very happy with it. I love the scooter. I think it's the same scooter from Deadpool, but I don't know, I never had that figure. It looks to be exactly the same and just repainted. So all in all, yeah, I like it. It's not quite as awesome as I was hoping it would be. I mean, you look at the images and you're like, oh yeah, Squirrel Girl and a scooter, and it's gonna be awesome. And it did let me down a little bit. It just wasn't everything that I had hoped. Like I said, I do love it very much. Very glad that I have it. And even now, I would, I mean, if I didn't have it, I'd, I'd rebuy it. It's something I have to have for my collection, something I wanted. 
But there was a few factors that kind of had me disappointed. But other than that, uh, it's a solid release. Uh, I think I've only got one other Rider series, and that's Ghost Rider. So well, I guess I got uh, Black Widow too. So from those, they each hold their handlebars. So I was kind of expecting her to hold the handlebars. Other than that, it's a great release, great figure. I'm very happy to have it. Don't get me wrong. Um, if you can find one, find one at GameStop, get it. If you can find one that GameStop has mismarked and sold for half the price it's supposed to be, I'd recommend that one. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. That is my story, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.